Hey educators, this is Kari, the mayor of Bookopolis, and I wanted to share with you a few of the features in Bookopolis that you could use in your classroom this year to make independent reading time more fun and really help you build a community of engaged and motivated young readers in your classroom. So one of the basic ways we do that with Bookopolis, which you can think of as like a Goodreads made just for kids with extra built-in tools for you as an educator, is students can create virtual bookshelves. They have three shelves, books I'm reading now, books I've read, and books I wanna read. Um, so it's a fun way for them to be able to track their reading, remember the books that they've loved in the past, and really get excited um, about what they're reading right now. So I'll show you how you can add a book. Let's see, I'm gonna add Charlie Thorne, which is a mystery series I really like. And Charlie Thorne, The Curse of Cleopatra. I'm gonna add this to my books. And here's where I can pick which shelf and you can change shelves later. But I have read this one, so I'll hit I read it. And now I have this great opportunity to rate and review and really share my voice as a student. And so I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna go five stars. Ooh, which made me earn a badge, which is super exciting. So I'll pick that badge there. And here's where students can write a review, which is a great way to show comprehension, as well as express yourself. I could write here, comprehension, and share why I liked or didn't like this book. So students will be able to see reviews written by their classmates right away. And you have a way as an educator to monitor those reviews. Once the Bookopolis team reads the reviews, which we do every week for all of the thousands of users on Bookopolis, we humanly moderate and then publish those so they can be seen anonymously by anybody else in the world. So it's kind of fun for kids to actually write for a very authentic audience. Uh, there's a couple other ways here on this that they can say who they might recommend this to, kind of what grade level of other students, and maybe what other genres that people like. So this is also a nice way for students to reinforce their learning of genres and understanding of different genres. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna go back to my books. So I can now see this book show up on my, I read it shelf. So now I see it, I see it down here and I can see a bunch of the other books that I've read recently as well. Um, so this is a, a really nice way for students, both for their comprehension and, and excited about books to be able to share that. But what they can also do here is recommend books to their peers. So we find that peer-to-peer -peer recommendations are very powerful for getting kids excited about what they're gonna read next. So once you create a class in Bookopolis, uh, all of those students are automatically connected as friends, as we call them. And so here's where you can sell, you know, maybe this student, I think my friend Allison would really like this book. So I'm gonna say, this book is awesome and I am gonna send it to her and she'll be able to see that on her recent updates page. So um, last thing I'm gonna share is book discovery. So we have a ton of curated lists because we hear all the time kids say, I would read more if I could find a good book that I wanna read. So we have curated tons of book lists where you can click in and actually see what other kids anonymously again are saying about this book. So it's a great way to scan this and see, you know, is this a book that might be right for me? Or again, enjoy books that my friends have recommended to me. Um, so those are a couple of the things that we do. We also have a reading log and there's a bunch of other stuff going on here, but I'm gonna leave it at that. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Twitter or email me at info at And we'd love to see you and your students up on Bookopolis this year. Have a great one.